Uh, one part of the sky that it's that we'll talk more about, or that's good to to, to be aware of early on here, is uh, kind of up north and around around Polaris. Again, Polaris is pretty important because that's that's that point in the sky that just sits there all 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 day and all night long. Um, you know, when the sun comes out, you can't see the stars as well, but even in the daytime, uh, Polaris is is right there, pretty much uh, having everything else turn turn around it. Um, again, turning this slowly kind of mimics the way the Earth is moving. And uh, notice how, you know, here's the eastern horizon. Things are coming up and, you know, coming up above the horizon, rising in the east. And then they're dropping, disappearing, setting over there in the west. One common misconception is that things, things rise in due east, <laughs> the things rise in the east, but rarely due east, and things don't usually set due west. It's, uh, you know, it's much broader than that. I mean, things rise anywhere in the eastern half of the sky and set anywhere in the western half of the sky. Same thing is true for the sun. The, the sun can rise quite a ways away from due east and be setting quite a ways away from due west. Uh, more about that later. Uh, back to kind of our current position, that's about here. Um, Polaris is a handy star to be able to find. Now, you can't see it anymore <laughs> on mine because I've put the little brass ground right there, but um, yeah, that's, that's where it is. Uh, on the notes, you may recall, you know, the, the Big Dipper is, is nearby, and one way to find the North Star is that the, the front two stars of the bucket point, point pretty accurately right, right towards it. Uh, one problem with that technique is that sometimes the Big Dipper can be pretty hard to find. Uh, the Big Dipper is uh, in that part of the sky that never sets for us. It's, you know, it's what, what they call circumpolar. Um, you know, if you just wheel the disk around one full turn, that's, that's a 24-hour period. And the things that are circumpolar are the things that never set. So you know, there's the Big Dipper, and it never goes down. It just kind of goes round and round and round. However, it gets pretty low for us. I mean, it, it does kind of scrape down the northern horizon there. So it can be pretty hard to find sometimes. And if there's anything like trees or haze or anything, you know, you could pretty much lose that entirely. So um, to, to, to reliably find the North Star, it's handy also if you know Cassiopeia. If you know both Cassiopeia and Big Dipper, you can pretty much always pinpoint uh, the North Star or Polaris. Cassiopeia uh, the main part of it is a kind of an M or a W, five stars and like an M or a W, which is pretty, pretty distinctive. And basically, they kind of sandwich the uh, the player as the North Star. So you can always find one of them. You know, if, if Big Dipper is real low and hard to find, then you know look for Cassiopeia in the north, but pretty you know pretty high up, and vice versa. If you lose Cassiopeia because it's way down low then the Big Dipper is going to be way up high overhead and easy to find. Uh, the Little Dipper is um, a little trickier uh, in town especially. It's actually not that little. People are, you know, looking for something tiny. <laughs> it's, uh, the Little Dipper is actually here. In fact, Polaris is, is part of it. Polaris is the end of the Little Dipper handle. So here's the Big Dipper, you know, seven stars all together, four in the bucket, three in the handle. Uh, Little Dipper is the same way. There's four in the bucket and then one, two, three in the handle. So they, they kind of kind of pour towards each other. What makes the Little Dipper, uh, the Little Dipper trickier, though, is that um, four of the stars in the middle are pretty faint. They're pretty dim. Uh, Big Dipper really stands out because you've got seven stars. They're all pretty bright. They're all pretty similar and, and quite bright. Um, for the Little Dipper, Polaris, which at the end of the handle, is pretty bright. And then this one front bucket star, that's also pretty bright. And, you know, that one less so. And then the other, you know, one, two, three, four in between are pretty faint. Lots of times in town, you, I can't, you can't see those at all. So uh, when you're missing the whole middle of the Dipper, it makes it tougher to see. <laughs> Out in the country, you may be able to, to, to catch it better.